In this video, I'll show you how to download and install Fortnite on PC. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's go and jump straight into this guide. So here we are on my computer. And the first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser. So personally, I'm using Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you like. And then just go to a search engine like Google. Now, what we now need to do is just go and type in Fortnite. So type it in. F-O-R-T-N-I-T-E, just like so, and hit enter. And what you want to do is make sure you go to fortnite.com. So it should be the top result just here. Then once it loads, it will be taken to the Fortnite website. And the next thing we need to do is either go and create or sign into a Fortnite account, also known as, as an Epic Games account. Epic Games basically own Fortnite. So you're creating an Epic Games account to then go and use on Fortnite. So what you need to do is go to the top right and go and tap on sign in just like so, and it will take a moment to go and load. So if you already have an account, then you can go and sign in or alternatively come to the bottom and go and press sign up. After you've signed in or gone and created an account, then come back to fortnite.com. It should automatically take you here though. Then what we need to do is go to the top right and go and press on download. Tap on that just like so. And as you can see, you now need to go and choose the platform you'd like to go and use. In this case, we're on a PC, so press on download now. So what we're firstly going to do is actually go and download the Epic Games launcher. As I said before, Epic Games run and own Fortnite. And so Epic Games also have other games on their launcher as well. So once we have the launcher, it's sort of like an app store or a game store. We can then go and choose Fortnite and download it. So I'll show you what to do next. After the installer is finished downloading, then what you'll need to do is go and run it. To go and find it, you'll probably need to go and open up your downloads folder in your file explorer, or depending on what browser you use, the downloads may appear in the bottom or the top. Um, but in this case, I'm just gonna go and run it from my file explorer. The Epic Games launcher setup is now loaded. So I'm gonna go and close off my browser like so. We've now finished with it. So so firstly, you can go and choose where you want to go and install the launcher too. That's fine with me. I'm going to tap install and then you may go and get a Windows security pop up. Essentially, you have to go and agree to this because it's making changes to your computer while installing it. Um, if you don't agree to it, then you can't go and install it. Now sit back and wait for the launch to install. And then after Epic Games has finished installing, it's then going to go and start downloading because essentially what just happened is, is that we went and downloaded the installer and now it has to update everything. So sit back and wait for this to finish. After the update is finished downloading, it will automatically install and you may go and get a few more Windows security pop-ups, which so just have to agree to those if you want to go and install it. Then we take into the sign in page. We can now go and sign in with the account um, that we just created or that you already have. Then after you signed in, it's then going to go and say preparing the Epic Games launcher and it should now start to load. And here we are. So what we need to do is make sure you go and select store. Then what you want to do is go and tap on search store. And we're gonna go and search for Fortnite. So go and type in Fortnite, just like this, and hit enter, and it'll go and show you the results. And as you can see, here's Fortnite. It's a free game, as you probably already know. So go and tap on it, just like this, and wait for it to load. And then what you'll need to do is scroll down the page, and where mine says in library, yours is probably gonna go and say get, or download, or something like that. And you can go and tap on it, and then go and start the download process. As you can see, mine's in the library. So I'm gonna go and tap on that, like so, and I'll take you to your library. So to alternatively get your library, just tap it on the left-hand side. So once you've gone and downloaded Fortnite, which I'll show you in just a moment, you will need to come to your library to go and launch Fortnite. And there'll also be a shortcut on your desktop as well. But what you now need to do is go and tap on Fortnite like so. And now we can go and start choosing the install location. So you can go and choose where you want Fortnite to go and download to. For me, that's going to be fine. And then what you need to do is go and press install. As you can see, you can also go and have these options here um, for auto update and creating a shortcut as well. And then just go and tap install just like so. And it's now going to be downloading. Uh, I just got another Windows cootie pop up. But as you can see, it says, please wait. And I down a downloads a menu appeared in the bottom left as well. So if I then go and tap on downloads in the bottom left, as you can see, you can go and see the progress and it's about 40 gigabytes. So it will take some time, but all you can do is sit back and wait for it to finish downloading. And as I previously said, once it's finished downloading, you can go and launch it from your library. And if you went and selected a shortcut, the shortcut is going to go and appear in your desktop as well. If you guys found this useful, please go down below and leave a like. Peace.